let the poor breathe. That is my additional prayer. <laughs> anyway, the major thing is that your prayer is that let the poor breathe. And then Senator Musafa has seconded that the poor should uh, breathe. Those who are in support of the additional uh, uh, prayer that uh, the poor should be allowed to breathe, say aye. aye. And those who are against, say nay. The eyes of it, the poor must be allowed to breathe. <laughs> the, let me... <laughs> let, let me... Uh, let me... Let, uh, let me... President, sir, distinguished uh, colleagues, my name is Cyril Fashi, representing the good people of Ekiti North. I have decided to stand up to call this additional prayer to follow the footpath of uh, Senator Abamoro because since the beginning of this Senate, I've been raising my hands and you have never called me. My additional prayer is taken from uh, the speech of Mr. President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu that says, let the poor breathe. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, let the poor breathe. That is my additional <laughs> prayer. <laughs> you will not call me again. <laughs> no, because you know, we don't uh, Distinguished colleagues, we, uh, uh, Ambassador, you, you want to second? Uh, the, no, we, we have not. Uh, we have not concluded on the prayer by uh, our brother Cyril. Uh, uh, he said his uh, additional prayer is let the poor breathe. Mr. President, <laughs> distinguished colleagues, my name is Asaliu Mustafa, representing Kuala Central. In supporting Senator Cyril Fashui, in his additional prayer that the poor should breathe, I believe all he's trying to say is that the discourse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the, the switch colleagues, a motion has been uh, moved for an additional prayer by the civil senator Sri Fasuji, who said that I've been recognizing him every day to talk. Uh, senator Fasu, you said that on each sitting day that my eye always catches you? Okay, okay. so so it was a mistake today? <laughs> so, anyway, the major thing is that your prayer is that let the poor breathe. And then Senator Musafa has seconded that the poor should uh, breathe. Those who are in support of the additional uh, uh, prayer that uh, the poor should be allowed to breathe, say aye. aye. And those who are against, say nay. The eyes have it, the poor must be allowed to breathe. <laughs> the, let me... <laughs> let, let me... Uh, let me... Let, uh, let me thank uh, the mover of the motion for bringing this to the fore, and uh, as a matter of fact, it's such a very serious issue because this goes to the root cause of production. Not just production, it also goes to the root cause of employment. If we have to have employment opportunities, then our industries must function. And then the industries cannot function without electricity. And even the poor households who are made to pay exorbitant bills as a result of estimated billing, I think this must also be brought to an end. So we frown on it, we, we condemn it, and we think that sanity should be brought into the sector. So what we have done today as a Senate is to suspend any further increase in electricity tariff until all the conditions stipulated in this motion are met. So I want to thank my distinguished colleagues for thinking of the public, because 
this, even this motion and the resolutions therefrom are actually ways and means of letting the poor people in. But you voted Tinubu. I voted Tinubu. Yes. With the hope that it's going to do us very well. That it's, go, that it's going to be a better option for Nigeria. Yes. But the way things are going like this. Mm. My brother, the attitude is getting, is getting over worse. So the, the atmosphere is tense. Over tense. Uh, pressure, Tiwa. The pressure is hundred percent presently now. Mm, okay. So uh, we, are, we are just pleading to Mr. President. Mm. According to his promises, <laughs> he said, "Let the poor breathe. The poor now is choking. Poor don't choke. Poor don't choke. The poor is suffocating. They are dying every blessed day. So please, Mr. President, do something for us. Right. We are pleading. All right. Thank that's you. Just, that's my. It's not doing well at all. Today, the dollar is eighty-four thousand for hundred dollar. On Monday, it was." 81,500. You see the difference. Now the fuel has gone to uh, 615, literally. Now it's uh, 675 in the filling station since inception, since Snubu administration began on the May 29th. Why are you feeling now? Initially, you were supporting saying Snubu, we are expecting something great, the step you are taking. Has anything changed now, bros? Um, we are experiencing hardship this time around, mm. and it's a toll on every Nigeria. Uh, in every sorry, quarter. sorry, can you say your the, your principal is incompetence because people say he's an empty headed man, he's an old man. Well, he... well, the issue we have on ground now is yes. the subsidy remover, yes, but uh, there was no much uh, adequate preparation, yes, you understand, concerning this uh, issue. So that is why people are finding it difficult to feed. Mm. People are finding it difficult to go to their homes. Yes. So so many families are experiencing hunger. Actually. Poverty is at the extreme. Mm. So that is the issue. I wouldn't say Tinibu, uh, every other sensible government, you understand, would have told his own part yes. of removing the subsidy. Yes. But he, well, he didn't prepare. You understand? For this, mm. and they told the fact it will have on an average Nigeria. As, so a, as, as a Nigerian, you, family man, an artisan, and you know, as a businessman, how are you feeling now? And as an APC man, uh, even for me to get to my uh, working place is a problem. Mm. I have to transport myself, it is a double issue now. Mm. So, and it's also with every other person. Yeah, I'm a father of three kids to feed my children. Now, and they are at home. Yes. Now they eat frequently. Yes. Unlike when they were in, uh, they used to go to school. Yes. So the issue is very pro is problematic. Yes. And this will uh, bring a lot of insecurity. Do you understand? When there is hunger in the land, a hungry man is an angry man. Yeah. They will so you will see a lot of burglary. People will begin to lose their valuable. So we are employing on the government to begin to look for a way to soften the problem of the people. To your principal? Yes, that is APC. So you are saying Jagaba is incompetence? For now, do you understand? Why I will say that is this. <laughs> for him to remove the subsidy <laughs> is not a bad uh, idea. You understand? I'm not objecting it. Yes. But he would have put measures on ground. Mm. And I have said it previously. They should sell off the refinery. Why keeping the workers there? You are paying them, and you are not refining. You sell off this refinery, privatize it. There will be competition. You see this fuel of it in, come to the uh, 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 barest minimum. Yes. So we are urging the government; they should, as a matter of urgency. Eight thousand palliative, sir. Yes. And the palliative will do, do no much to me, because when you give somebody, you are giving somebody eight thousand naira, a family man like me. You are giving me 8,000 naira for palliative. For 8,000 naira cannot carry my family for anywhere in a week. Yeah. So I don't see any measure of that palliative, the effect it will have on the people. They say it should challenge the Nigerian building refinery. Uh, let me tell you something. Let them sell off these ones we have. Yes. So that people, private people can make it operational. Okay. Let them sell it off. All right. So. And in so doing, you begin to, you know, the economy has crumbled. Yes. It has crumbled beyond the imagination. Yes. It, uh, two months or three months before now, 
I never thought the economy would crumble as this. Yes. But we are seeing it. Yes. And nobody, let me tell you, 